Good morning. Today we are going to Granville Island and then we're also going to spend a little bit of time in North Vancouver at the Lonsdale Key Market. So, so we took the bus here and it dropped us off right before the bridge going over so we're just walking over. So we're going to go into the Granville Island Market. This place is amazing. I don't even know what to get first. There are so many bakery stands and flower stands. I'm obviously not going to get produce or raw meat because we're not going back to the hotel anytime soon. Such a nice display on the bread stand or this bakery stand. I think I'm going to get a scone to share with my family. So I just um, took the scone outside and got chased around by seagulls. So we're back inside and ooh, I think I'm gonna get a cinnamon record. I have to look at cakes first because they're so amazing. Candy kitchen. Okay, so I haven't seen produce, like fresh produce like this in Toronto for a long time because it's February. It's like the almost the end of winter. Okay, so I'm outside alone. Um, I'm just gonna check out the stores. My family are um, kind of tired from yesterday because we took that trip to the Capilano Bridge Park. It's amazing. It's, they have um, they have so many stairs to climb. Like You don't realize it because you're just trying to get to the top to see the view, but then the next day you kind of realize it because you're so all over. But how can you not, not walk around an island with so many unique shops. Oh my gosh, so they ooh, what is that? So pretty. <laughs> Gonna post that on Instagram. So they have a woodwork shop that's not open. And I'm on the boardwalk on one of the sides. I don't even know where I am, I just walked around. Um and ferry. No, we didn't take the ferry over, we took the bus over the bridge. And there's an ice, there's a gelato shop here. It's a bit early for gelato, I think. So it's so beautiful here. Even though it's not the sunniest day, it's also not the warmest. It's I'm in my winter coat, so it's like nine degrees and kind of wet, but very, very still comfortable to walk around in compared to the negative twenty in Toronto. So I can play. So cute. They're not scared of me. I'm kind of scared of them after being chased by seagulls. It's like the water is so still. It's a perfect reflection. Okay, so my family is definitely missing out on some beautiful views. Actually, people actually live here. It would be so cool to look. So I'm just visiting the toy store before I leave, and they actually, I'm planning to get souvenirs from here, and they, they're reasonably priced, so it's a pretty good place. Oh, so cute. Okay, so we're taking the ferry over to North Vancouver now, and my first time taking the ferry here in Vancouver. Obviously, I took the ferry on my trip to, in my trip to Hong Kong. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I've traced where the bubbles are coming from. Coming from here, it's a bubble machine. <laughs> it's lovely. It's so cute. So they're like um, unpoppable bubbles because they you know, land on the ground and they don't pop. I don't know if it's just the lighting, but this place seems a bit more industrial. So I'm sorry if um, it's a bit shaky, because I just switched cameras and the frame rate for this one is a bit more. I'm used to the photos kind of looking. Okay, so I'm taking the elevator up. I thought I could get a good view of the stores, but then they, they're all covered, so actually the top looks kind of like Eaton Center. 
Okay, so it's the last morning before we head back to Toronto. We have a two o'clock flight to catch, but I'm just enjoying the view for one more time before we leave. So it's been a really, really enjoyable trip, and I think my family really liked this trip too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the sort of vlog videos um, from this trip, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye.